Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you how to edit any PDF file in Affinity Photo. So if you don't know about Affinity Photo, Affinity Photo is a photo editing software just like Adobe Photoshop. But one thing for sure that Adobe Photoshop doesn't have is the feature to edit PDF file. I mean to edit text in PDF file. Okay, so let me just show you. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump into a fin photo and get started. Okay, so let's say that I want to edit this PDF file. Okay, so this is a fin photo shortcuts for window. And as you can see in this PDF file, it has five pages. Okay, so let's just drag it into a fin photo. And once you drag it, you will see this PDF options. So right here, you can see the pets preview. Okay, and you can also choose to load all pages or load a specific pages. Okay, I will load all pages. And you can also adjust the DPI and color space. If you don't know what to do with the DPI and color space, just set it to estimate. Okay, because estimate will sense the DPI and color space in the PDF file and will use that. Okay, and you can also enable favor editable text over fidelity and you can also enable group lines of text into text frames so if you disable it it will separate the lines of text into a layer okay and if you enable it it will make a lines of text into group okay so for now i will disable it and you can also replace missing fonts okay so i don't have this open sense fonts in my computer so it will be replaced by Arial font for now but you can change it to any font Okay, and this is the font style. Okay, after you OK with the settings, just hit OK. And it will load all of the pages into Affinity Photo like this. Okay, so just like when you import PST file into Affinity Photo, it will also separate all of the layers in that file. Okay, so it will separate all of the text and images in that PDF file. Okay, so as you can see, this is patch 5 when you expand the group. You can see all of the icon, text, and layer in that page. Okay, so let's just zoom in. And you can adjust anything in this page. Okay, so let's say that I want to delete the icon of Windows. I can do that. Or, okay, so just let's make it bigger. And change the font into bold okay so i can do all of that and i will also change some text from here okay and then down here let's see what we got okay so in the pdf option if you choose to group lines into text it will make all of these three lines into one group of layer but as you can see i disable it so it will break it into three separate layer okay so you can also edit anything okay like delete or add some text from this layer okay it's very useful, I must say, but just one drawbacks when you import PDF file into Affinity Photo. As you can see, sometimes it will delete the space between text. So uh, sometimes that happens, so you need to fix it manually. Okay, so make sure you check the document again before you export it. Because sometimes Affinity Photo will remove some space in the text. Okay, and after we have done, just go to file and export and then let's check the file so it's gonna take a while to export this pdf file okay after we have done let's open it and go to page 5 okay so as you can see i adjust the windows and the text and then I also delete the end layers text. Okay, and right here as well. So as you can see, it's very easy to edit PDF file in a film photo. And it's very useful when you want to edit a document that has been signed or stamped. 
because you don't have to edit the work file and then print it again and ask your uh, supervisors to sign or stamp it again you can just drag the pdf file into finphoto and edit it okay and right now there are spring sale going on on all of the affinity software so you will get 50% off of every affinity software like affinity designer affinity photo and publisher so if you want to get this software just get it right now okay and as you can see what it can do to edit pdf file okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button like this video don't forget to subscribe if you have already and i will see you guys in the next video